Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay, so we have this complex integration. We have to solve it with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. Okay, so what will I do? I will call the given integral as i first and then we will solve. Okay, so let me write we have the given integral is integration over c cosec z dz. Here, the most important thing is that curve c. So let us draw that curve first and then we will solve the remaining part of our problem where C is that is a C. This is equation of circle. C is a circle mod Z is equal to one to draw the circle. We need to know its center and radius. We can easily obtain them just by comparing with a standard form of a circle mod z minus z0 is equal to r. This is a standard form of a circle. z0 is center, r is radius. Okay, so what we have mod z, mod z is equal to 1. That means mod z minus 0 is equal to 1. z minus 0 is z itself. So if you compare, you get z0 is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1. That means center is 0 and radius is 1 center 0 which is 0 0 and radius 1 so let us draw this circle first okay imaginary axis real axis 1 2 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 okay so we have a circle with center 0, 0, radius 1. So this circle we have, okay. Let us go further. Let me remove this part. Now the second important thing is a function, okay, is a function. So what is the function we have? The function is cosec z. We have, let me write, f of z is cosec z. Okay, so this is a given function. So we have to solve this integration with the help of residue theorem. That means basically it is Cauchy's residue theorem. Let us recall its statement and then we will plan how to solve this problem. Cauchy's residue theorem says integration over c f of z dz is 2 pi i sum of residues. That means according to this theorem, okay, this theorem says, first we find the singular points of a given function. Singular points, that means generally we say the denominator zero or the point where function is not analytic. We check those points are lying outside the circle or inside the circle. If they are lying outside, no need to worry, no need to find any residue. But see if, if, if any point, if there is any point which lies inside circle, then we have to find residue at that point. Then we take sum of all such residues and we take product with 2 pi i and which will give the value of this integration. That means we get the value of integration with the help of residues. Okay, so this is Cauchy's residue theorem and we are going to follow the same to solve this problem. Okay, that means according to Cauchy's residue theorem, first we have to find the singular points of this function. That means a point where function is not analytic. Generally, we say the point where denominator is zero, but see the given function has no any denominator, but definitely we can express it in this form one upon sine z. Since cosec z means one upon sine z, it means denominator is sine z. So we will check for what values of z that sine z is zero. If it's not analytic, if that sine z is 0, that is. So tell me when our sine z is 0. If z is equal to 0, sine z is 0, since sine 0, 0. So it means for z is equal to 0, sine z, 0. For z is equal to pi, sine pi again we get 0, sine minus pi, 0. So the sec next points are plus minus pi. Similarly, plus minus 2 pi plus minus 3 pi. It means there are infinitely many points for which the denominator is 0. Now, 
the next task is to check whether those points are lying inside the circle or outside the circle. Z is equal to 0, it obviously lies inside, Z is equal to 0. The next point is pi, pi means 3.142, getting? So pi is 3.142, that means it will be somewhere here, pi. Similarly, on this side, we will have minus pi. Next, 2 pi, it is far away from here, minus 2 pi on this side, getting? That means, and all remaining points definitely will lie outside the circle. There is only one point which lies inside, that is 0. Okay, so let me mention. But only z is equal to 0 lies inside C and all remaining singular points singular points lie outside C. Okay, all remaining points are lying outside C. So we have to find residue only at z is equal to 0. Now the question is how to find residue. So there is one definition of residue with the help of the it we can definitely find. But see definition of residue involves Lorentz series expansion. It is very time consuming process to find Lorentz series and then find residue. Instead of that, See, all these are simple poles. Fortunately, all these are simple poles. So when you have simple poles, we have a separate formula to calculate residue. That formula I'm going to use here. So here, Z is equal to zero is a simple pole. Okay, so let me show you the formula. So residue of F of Z at Z is equal to zero. The formula says limit z tends to 0, z minus 0 f of z. So this is a formula we have. Singular point is 0, so I have written z minus 0 and z tends to 0 here. Now the next task is to put the value of f of z sin z. So let us write here we have space, let us use limit. Okay, or uh, here I will write the next part. Okay, just make a screenshot of it first, then I will go further. So let us continue. Okay, I will write here. This is equal to limit z tends to 0. z minus 0 is z itself and f of z is 1 upon sin z. That means z upon sin z we get. Okay. See, if I put z is equal to 0 directly, we get 0 at numerator as well as we know sin 0, 0. That means we get 0 at denominator also. It means we get 0 upon 0 form if I put z is equal to 0 directly. It is indeterminate form and it has no any value. So when we get indeterminate form in case of limits, we go for L hospitals rule. This theorem says or this rule says we have to take derivative of numerator at numerator, derivative of denominator at denominator and then again apply the limit. Okay, so I will do the same. So this is equal to limit z tends to 0. What did I say? Derivative of numerator at numerator, derivative of denominator at denominator. So here I'm applying L hospitals rule. Let me mention by L hospitals rule. Okay, so let us write derivative limit z tends to 0. Derivative of z is 1, derivative of sin z is cos z. So let us apply the limit. Definitely we will not get 0 upon 0 form since we have got 1 at numerator. So if I apply the limit 0, so cos 0, we know cos 0 is 1, so 1 upon 1 which is 1. So we got a residue 1. So we had only one singular point which was lying inside C and we found out residue which is 1. So it's time to use Koch's residue theorem. By Koch's residue theorem. So integration over C, what is the function we have? Cosec z dz. Koch's residue theorem is 2 pi i sum of residues. So 2 pi i, only one residue we have got which is 1. Let us put it here, 1. 2 pi i into 1, 2 pi i. This is required answer. This is a value of integration. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you in next video.